So guys, so it's been a while since I did a PK Hex auto legality mod tutorial. And I mean, if you're unfamiliar with PK Hex auto legality mod, it's a plugin that basically makes things easy, makes your life easy. Um, it will auto legalize mods as long as you provide a legal import and it will pretty much save you so much time. You don't have to go through digging around Cerebi, all this other stuff for Intel. And I mean, it's a great tool to have. You should not be using PK Hex unless you have auto reality mod in my opinion unless i mean it's not up to date but we'll get to that so you don't need a hack switch again you won't get banned for this because this plugin is to ensure that you make legal mods so let's go and get started this f there's gonna be a couple links in the description the first link is going to be the download of base pkx so i'm gonna go here click download and then the second link is for the plugins so you got this page right here. You're going to scroll down. You're going to see pkhex plugins.zip. You can do ALM setup stable, but I mean, that's a little bit more confusing for some people. And this is a little bit more stable in my opinion. So I'm going to download the pkhex plugins.zip. It's going to maybe hit you with this hazardous or dangerous. It ain't dangerous. Keep it. And before I move on, one thing to make sure of is you want to make sure that you are on the same version of plugins and the same version of um, PKX because they don't always update at the same time. That's why you see different like versions here. You got November, you got October, and this one here is for January. I mean, it matches up with this latest PKX. So if it's ever like time for an update or whatever, always double check that, um, that the plugins and PKX match up. Always make sure for that. So wherever your your files went, let's go ahead and find them. Go to download. Really important steps right here. So gonna right click it, hit properties, hit unblock, hit apply. Okay. Same thing with the plugins. Properties. Hit unblock, apply. Okay. Always make sure to do that. So and on your desktop or wherever, make a folder titled PKX. I already have it over here. Let me move it to the center. And so what you'll do is you'll go ahead and extract. And you'll drag the PKX into the folder. Replace. Boom. So you can close that. Let's go back. And there you go to the plugins. And it's the same process. Extract all. Boom. And you will see these two things. And inside your PKX folder, you need a folder titled plugins. And that's what this is right here. So you'll drag these two right inside. Replace. That easy. And now, I mean, you're ready to open it. Let's go back, open this. And if you get hit with like an error message when you open it, that means you probably didn't either unblock the DLLs or you have mismatched um, PKX and ALM. So now we got that, I'm gonna show you a quick little, show you how easy it is. So two ways that you can import mods is you can use, one of the easiest ways for more customization is Team Builder. You don't really need that. I mean, unless you really, you have teams already made in Team Builder and you want to export them over. But another simple way to get a solid base is to use the Smoke Index. So I'm going to grab a set here. I mean, and Smoke Index basically provides you with battle resets. I mean, scroll down, find one you like. Hit export. And you can do control C or copy to grab it. And then go to tools. Try to make this bigger. Let me actually expand the screen a little bit for you guys. Nope, can't expand it. So just wasted like 10 seconds. Oh well, you guys get the point. So I grabbed it, control C. I'm gonna open up PKX and you're gonna go to tools, auto legality mod, import with auto legality. And as long as it's legal, it'll go through. So I gave you this, I mean, it did and filled in all the data. So if you see here, 
it's an event and if you look at like the met location it's from moon so because it has roost which is a pastion move it made it to be basically a pastion mon so if you want something to not be a pastion mon or to have the battle ready stamp make sure everything is in gen 8 so i know that turn it to recovery will fix it so i did that and i'm going to show you how it'll easily fix it so tools showdown export set and then re-import it super easy and now originated sword and if you see here it's got my trainer info instead of being default pkx and to do that you need a trainer's folder there's a link in the description that it's a guide to it, but I'm going to show you this real fast. And so inside your PK hex folder, if I can find it, oh, there it is. You're going to have a folder titled trainers and inside that folder, you're going to have different PK eights for different versions of the game. So that way, when you import like in, with ALM, it automatically gives it your trainer info that you pick. So I mean, I'm a little thorough, so I have it for literally every version of the game, but you don't need this many. Just kind of cover your bases as you kind of work through different mods from like different generations. Make the one that you want, drop it in your trainer's folder, restart PKX, and then that easy. So, <clears throat> got that covered. And so now I'm going to show you like the different little pieces of PKX and a few other little fun things. So, Got your main tab, it shows you how to basically the basis of the mod. So make it shiny, just click it, star shiny, and you see this flag up here for illegal. I'm gonna show you how to fix that. So and explain why. So and then shift click to make it square shiny. So <clears throat> because this mod originates from the um was it Dynamax Adventures? These can only be star shiny and they have to have a certain value. So to fix that, what you do, again, this shows you how easy ALM is. Tools, auto legality mod, legalize. And there you go, fixed it. So as you see, I mean, that's all good. Species name there, nickname, you can change that. Let's change the jet stream. And it already checks the nickname flag, got your experience towards here. Your level, got your base nature, got your stat nature, got your held item, got your ability here, and it only it only is gonna display things that are illegal. I mean that are legal, my bad. Got your friendship, got your language, is an egg, I mean can't be an egg, obviously. Is it infected? Is it cured? All the fun stuff. So you got your met tab. I mean it shows the origin game is shield. I mean, I can change it to sword because that's the applicable version shows you the met location, shows you the ball. You can click on that and then everything in green, if you can see that, is basically everything that's legal. Everything in red, it can't be caught in for this version of it, for this met location. So, I mean, obviously you can't catch and cherish ball legally. Got your met date, all the other fun stuff. So you go back, let's close this first. Go to stats and this is one that's kind of going to be annoying and I'm going to kind of show you some other things. So you got this here and I'm going to show you whenever you import something that can that's originated from a raid or a Dynamax adventure, it's a thing called Exor Shiro, which basically assigns it a seed and tries to make it as the IVs as close as possible. And so... And so basically it does that. And so what you'll do is with the Exor Shiro to fix it to where it doesn't hyper train it. What you do is you go to tools, auto legality mod and go to plugin settings. And I mean, I'm going to run through these real quick, to show you guys the different features. I mean, for specified ball, I mean, that will basically, if you do include a ball line on here, it will basically, it'll make sure to assign it that ball. If it can prioritize event will basically if it's an event mod, it'll prioritize events instead of it being a like hatch or COD encounter. Prioritize game, that basically means it'll try to pick the most recent game 
for the import. Uh, set all legal ribbons. Um, set to true. And that'll basically, it'll make it have all legal ribbons that it can possibly have. Um, some people don't like all the ribbons, so you can set it to false. I usually keep it false. Set battle version. Battle version basically means if it has Gen 8 moves and it's like not Gen 8 origin, it'll basically give it that battle ready stamp and you're good to go. Set So you got set matching ball and that'll basically means that it'll basically match it based on color scheme. That's why when this was non-shiny, it was a dive ball. And then scroll down to legality. Enable Easter eggs. Easter eggs are basically, if you do import something illegal, it'll either make it into a, I think it's a Melton or a Diglet that basically tells you like, hey, this ain't right. So it, it kind of tells you like to fix it. So I usually keep this off, but I mean, you can leave it true just to kind of like keep yourself in check. You got set random tracker that basically randomizes the home tracker for every mon. You can leave that true or false. It doesn't really matter. Timeout is basically let's say you're trying to create something that is from like gen one which is really hard to generate this will set a timeout for it that way it won't just bog down your computer forever and then this is the one we want to look for it's the exor shiro so i usually keep this true that way it doesn't do all the funny hyper trained ivs and then i mean just go through these last few and then prompt for smoke and import. You can leave that false. And then use competitive markings. It'll basically full blue marks for 31 IVs, um, red solid mark for zero. And then use markings, same thing. Allow trainer data override. This is for if you want to include like OT, TID, SID, all the other stuff in your imports. And then use trainer data. And that's when it pulls stuff from your trainer's folder. So let's keep going. So now what I can do is I can just re-import this and it'll, I'll show you that it gets rid of the IVs, what oh, should. Okay, it didn't. I think you'd have to close this PKX and then reopen it for the stuff to reestablish itself. So I'll close that, reopen, tools, Import file legality mod. Boom. I right, still so did it. Okay. It typically will let you. It'll clear itself up. Oh, I was supposed to turn it to false. <laughs> All right. Sorry about that. So now let's do it. Yeah, I think I just got to close it and reopen, but. You, you get the gif. I'm not going to go through this again. So, so we got the met tab cleared. And stats. I mean, you can give it the Dynamax points. I mean, the levels and stuff there. Go to your attacks. I mean, if it's highlighted in green, it's legal. If it's in white, it's not legal. So just kind of keep that in mind. So you got all these. That's your PP. You got your PP ups. Got your relearn moves, got your technical records. So if you want to assign something in the current move section, a move that it can't learn via leveling up or it's a technical record, you got to go through here and you got to just like click it. That's it. So I want to teach it, I want to teach it trick instead of recover. So I get flagged here. So now I go to technical records. I just saw trick. Let me see if I can find it again. Check that save let me go back oh i didn't actually check it there you go now save and then it fixed itself so that's for that ot i mean pretty generic i mean you just enter in this information as you see fit to kind of help yourself out to make sure it has your ot info i mean that's the pretty much basic overview for it so i mean you just drag it down here your mods finish. I mean, I'm going to show you a couple other features. So if you don't want to use like the database for, I mean, use Smogan, they have an, a thing called encounter database. So go to tools, data, encounter database. And basically go up here, type in species. We'd still use Ladio as an example. Hit search and it'll show you pretty much 
all the legal encounters for that mod. So I'm just gonna grab this one, a random one, click view, close it out and it's up here. And if you ever get, and this is a perfect example, if you ever get current handler cannot be past gen OT, what you do to fix that, go down here, just type something in, doesn't really matter what, and click this, and it'll fix itself. And that's how you fix the current OT thing. So that's easy, and that's the encounter database. And it'll basically show you all the different legal encounters. So you can pull from there. So let's say if you wanna find it from like a different version of the game, it, it'll be an encounter database. And now another thing is to generate smoking sets. So out of legality mod. So what you'll do, you have your main up here, you have your species. Let's do Latios instead. Like yeah, it's flagged as illegal right now, but I'm gonna show you tools showdown and let's auto legality mod and let's go to where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Generate smoking sets. And there you go. So it generates a bunch of legal sets based on what's in the smoking decks. That easy. Gives you so if it's in the database for smoking. It pulls it it's right there for you um i mean not all the sets are equal but i mean you kind of get the the gist of it and it's super convenient it helps out so much if you don't want to go through and grab stuff from team builder or smoking and i think it might have it might have actually given you your trainer data yep it gave you trainer data too so that's another super easy and cool feature now I'm going to show you how to generate a living dex. Tools was auto legality mod and generate living dex. It's literally pressing a button. <clears throat> so it generates a pretty much a simple basic living dex, but it's not like battle ready and it doesn't have your trainer ID or information because I mean it's too much to really process. So it's pretty simple. I mean, you can go back through and use like batch commands. There's going to be a link to show you how to do that to fix it yourself and then they said that's super easy and i'm going to show you how to get events so it's called the mgdb database so you go to tools data and you go go to mystery gift database wait well that'll show you also events that are already in the database but if you want to and i mean you can go through all these and try to figure out which event is which but i mean this is every event that is logged into the pkx database but if you want the individual files for yourself, you go to tools and you go to, where is this thing? Download MGDB. So you'll click that, update MGDB. I mean, it'll download, it'll probably take maybe a few minutes and you'll have every file for every event logged into PKX database. So it's super easy, super convenient. Um, yeah, I mean, that's really it for like the basics. I mean, I can show you guys how to do batch batch editor, which will show you how to change like trainer information and stuff. So I'm not really going to get too in-depth in because there's so many different factors. So if I want to change everything in like box one equals box equals one, let's do equals OT underscore name. And I'm going to change everything that has OT name Pika Hex to central. Dot OT underscore name equals central. And if you caught it before the first time, I mean, you saw that like everything was labeled Pika Hex. So let's run it. Okay, so I did that wrong. So I'm going to skip that for now. <laughs> but I mean... Batcher is really that's a, a video on its own, honestly, but that's the basic features. I mean, hopefully this helped out. If you have any questions, ask me in the comments. Um, there is a PKX development discord that I mean a lot of people are a part of. Um, I usually don't link it because they go through enough trouble already, and I don't really want people from this video to give them a hard time and stuff. So if you have questions, ask them below. I'm usually super responsive. To most questions and i can answer most things but 